Ever, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 10. So what is the value of x or what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. 2 to the power of 3x, this is actually in the form of a to the power of n multiplied by m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Therefore, we have 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3, then plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 10. Now, 2 to the power of x is common here, so we can represent 2 to the power of x by u. So let's 2 to the power of x be equal to u. Such so that x here is a member of real numbers. So that now we have u to the power of 3 plus u. This is equal to 10. Now, let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u. Subtract 10. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u, then subtract 10, which is minus 8, minus 2, this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u, then subtract 8, which is 2 to the power of 3, then subtract 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this implies that we have u to the power of 3 here and 2 to the power of 3 here. So, we can express this as u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus u subtract 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that this particular part here, u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, this is actually the difference of two cubes here, expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a subtract b, a squared plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Applying this identity, then here we have u minus 2 into the parentheses. This is u squared, then plus u times 2, which is 2u then plus 2 squared, which is 4, cross the parentheses, then plus u minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now we have that u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 2 into the parentheses, this is u to the power of 2 plus 2u plus 4, then plus 1, Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. We have u minus 2, and we have u squared plus 2u, then plus 4 plus 1, this is 5, this is equal to 0. Now from the first part here, we have u minus 2, this is equal to 0, and on the second part here, we have u to the power of 2 plus 2u plus 5. This is equal to 0. Now, you find that this is from the first part here, we have that u1 is equal to 2. Now, the second part here, this is a quadratic equation that is in the form of a squared, au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2, and that c is equal to 5. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 5. So, the next step, let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation. Remember that to assess the nature of the root, let's determine the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. So, this implies that from here, 
let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now here we have 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 5 so this is 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 5 this is 20 so 4 minus 20 this is equal to minus 16 and this is less than 0 so this implies we have two complex roots we have two complex root and in other ones there is no real solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equation here so in other ones the quadratic equation is rejected quadratic equation is rejected so let's focus on u that is equal to 2 and if you recall if you recall we have seen that let 2 to the power of x be equal to u all right so let's substitute u here so that we have 2 to the power of x this is equal to 2 we have that this 2 is raised to the power of 1 so that the bases are common here so we have a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m since the bases are common here exponent n is equal to m now following this property then this means that x here is equal to 1 we have that the value of x is equal to 1 so the next step is to substitute this value of x from the original equation and verify if this value of x here satisfies the equation as follows now let's verify that this value of x which is equal to 1 satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that 2 to the power of 3x then plus 2 to the power of x this should give us a value of 10 so let's substitute the value of x which is 1 so we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 then plus 2 to the power of 1 this should give us a value of 10 so this is 2 to the power of 3 and this is equal to 8 then plus 2 to the power of 1 and this is equal to 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 10 so we have that 8 plus 2 this is equal to 10 which is equal to 10 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x here which essentially is equal to 1 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now